Hello guys, welcome to the TechLoxo YouTube channel. In our today's video, we will see what is Active Directory Administrative Center. What things we can do with the ADAC. So Active Directory Administrative Center is a, uh, it allows administrators to manage Active Directory objects such as users, groups, computers and OUs from a single centralized console. So we can manage our all the Active Directory users and computers from a single console. So let's check it. Just go here tools and click on the Active Directory Administrative Center, the first option. And here is our the home page of our Active Directory Administrative Center. Here we can create a new user or create a new group or we can create a new OUs, we can delete users, edit users. Here on the home page there is option for resetting the password. Like we can reset the password for any user. For example there are number of domain controllers available in our forest or in our environment so we can simply type here like if there is a domain controller named techroxo2 backslash here type any name and right now it is saying that there is not any techroxo2 domain is available so right now let's create a new user here go to users and here on the right panel create on new select on new a new user here is a pop-up arrives here type the username like test user test2 here i will enter the upn logon name like test2 at the rate techroxo.com here we can enter the password for our user Here the account expires, never, end of, and here the password options. Uh, the user must change password at next logon. Here many things like organization, and here the member of which group. Like here we can check the built in. Here are the built in groups available here like if this user is the member of administrators or uh, hyper v administrators like we can select any kind of the group suppose i am choosing here the hyper v administrators okay now here is, here is a great thing directory associated associated password settings so it is an option from which we can change the password settings for any user or any group by password settings we mean we can set any uh, limitations like we can set passwords requirements we can set the minimum length we can set the uh, required uh, format of password we can do all the things with here i can make i will make a new uh, dedicated video for this option right now just create a user okay our user is created test 2 now we can change here the password of our user like i will type here my domain name backslash test 2 now here it is saying the password will be reset for the techroxo text test 2 now simply we can reset password for any user like I am resetting my password. Oh sorry. Now user must change the password at next logon. 
we can also uh, check here click on apply now the password has been reset successfully the password for this user has been successfully reset it now here is a global search we can also search any of the object user any ou from this now here is a scope for this search right now we have only one domain controller if we have number of domain controllers we we can check all the con uh, domain controllers from here like i can search here test one here it is simply given the result for the test one it is also showing the which domain controller it is uh, it is the part of which domain controller like it is showing the domain controller techroxo so, so this user is associated with the this domain controller so also we can here create a new groups like new group i can make here a group for hr users and we can also set here the group scope the group type and okay here our new user a uh, new group created and we can add users to these groups like add to group here type hr check names here our hr users group is showing and now click on ok now our this user is the part of this hr users so in this way this active directory administrative center works we can manage all the users computers and uh, all the groups or use from here in our upcoming videos we will cover the password settings the associated password settings of this uh, console and also we can see there is a feature a hidden feature recycle bin for our server which is uh, for example any user deleted accidentally we deleted any user accidentally we can recover that user or any object with the recycle bin feature we can also enable that recycle bin feature for our server so stay tuned for our upcoming videos thank you for watching this video